Graphic design is a hugely competitive industry, so it's important to know our skill set and to always upgrade our skill set. It's not good enough just to trundle through graphic design and just trying to be better. We have to fully upgrade ourselves. Well, there are two skills that I see that a lot of designers do not utilize because of our computers. And these two skills are going to take your designs to the next level this year. So the first skill I'm going to show you is mind mapping. This is inherently valuable to any graphic designer. So let's say we're working for a company. This company is Horizons. They develop new ways to get discounts and coupons by combining machine learning with beautiful design. So we know the company name, Horizons, and they're basically like a competitor to Honey. I've got this app called MindNode, but you can do this on paper and I would encourage you to actually do this on paper. It makes it easier sometimes. We're gonna type in Horizons. Now the goal of mind mapping is to generate ideas based upon the visuals that we see or generate different connections to Horizons. For instance, curvature of the earth, horizon line, a fun one, f flat earth, even though we don't have a flat earth, don't worry. So when thinking of horizons, I'm thinking, obviously looking over a seascape. So I'm thinking of sea. I'm also thinking of clouds. Now on the other side, I'm gonna start writing over here, some stuff about the company. So discounts, beautiful design, intelligent. Now what I'm gonna be doing is creating connections between these words, these things that I've created from horizons over to the ones about the company. This is something that we do for every brand identity project and it's a really good way of getting a feel for the visuals. It gets you really thinking about not just the obvious things, but the connections to those. And that's what gives the illusion of really nuanced design. Perspective is something that I'm getting through this. Aurora is a good one. If you look in space, you can see the Aurora Borealis, the, the lights in the sky. That's sort of like a horizon line too. Horizontal line, line to a point. So I'm just showing you my process of my mapping. There's many different ways of doing this. I always get a sunset, sunrise, and that takes me to space. So what about horizons on other planets? The other good thing about doing this is not only is it helping you ideate, it's also helping your client understand what's in your head. It's showing your thought process, your visual thought process in writing and something that they may understand. I get the word expanse, far away. Now if we look back into our company description here, they're saying that their main product is a device that you use wherever you are and implements our cloud technology. So there's something there as well. So we've got cloud technology happening, horizon with the cloud. And we're just writing this, it doesn't have to be right. You may think of stupid ideas like I am here, but this will help all in all to come up with great forms. Obviously, we hear a lot about broad horizons. Now, when working on your own mind maps for whether it's your client project or your portfolio project, spend time on it. Don't just like leave like I'm doing. In fact, I'm gonna show you some other mind maps I've done for clients previously. Some of you may or may not know, I worked with a guy called James Janney. He's an amazing YouTuber, link below. He creates these amazing documentaries on YouTube. If you love documentaries, go check them out. And we branded him. Now during his logo design process and the whole brand identity process, we did this here, which is the mind map. It starts off with me just thinking of James of what he does and what the whole point of his channel is. And we came up with these. So the first one's mystery. So the mystery behind like money, cults, scams, social media, kind of finding the truth. Even in his latest video, he's talking about finding the truth of the crypto scene. He's talking behind the scenes, the untold truth. We question everything. Now I've got this point here of design imagery. Now this is where I go into the mind mapping stage and show Janet James how it works of how I'm coming up with these ideas. We came up with the idea of a cult eye, obviously, he talks a lot about things that are unseen or that you have to do a lot of research, like a rabbit hole. Rough, neon colors, creepy, kind of like a key, a key to the truth, to the door opening, exposing curtains opening. This here gave us a lot of inspiration for the project that we worked on. So because of the mind map that we created of the cult eye and all these different other things, these connections that we made with it, we we're able to come up with something like this, which is very appropriate for him. Obviously, this is the logo type, the main logo. This is more of the visuals behind the brand. Now, the next skill that you guys need to take part in and do it as often as possible is one that is essentially called form storming. I'm going to link it down below, but a lot of students in design are taught this. Essentially, you're going to give yourself an imagery prompt. 
So for us, that is horizons. We're going to find different ways of showing a horizon in this, but we're going to do it through the internet. So it's a bit easier for you. Obviously, you can draw it yourself. So for instance, for me, that could literally mean a simple line like so there's one idea and it looks bad i know but the idea is that we're trying to exercise our brain to come up with new ideas and concepts something that i want to put in to here is form storming with the black hole event horizon the event horizon is where you cannot leave the black hole when you get to it not even light can leave it's still a horizon so there you go we've got this off the earth curvature which i really like again that's showing a different perspective of horizon obviously we don't look at the flat earth and here's two horizons one of the moon and one of the earth that you can see two different perspectives now you would keep going along this path until you fill up you know a few rows and i'm using millinote here to do this millinote is a great tool it's free to use and it allows you to move boards collaborate on a whiteboard space so what i've realized from doing this very quick mind mapping and form storming exercise is that horizon lines are actually curves sounds very basic but we can get to a much more nuanced place from this like for instance the wi-fi signal is a horizon line the Spotify logo has got horizon lines in there. Is there anything else with those sorts of shapes? So those are the two skills that you need to learn, but an easy way of getting better access to more resources this year is to go to Envato Elements, who are sponsoring this video, and rightfully so. If you don't know, Envato Elements is a subscription-based plan to over 50 million high-quality design assets for less than $20 a month when you get the annual subscription. They've got everything from presentation templates to fonts to stock imagery. In fact, here's a mock-up I got from Invato Elements. So this is uh, for a cosmetic brand. I'm going to go replace this logo with something. Let's replace it with my old client logo, the APM Way. Let's put it in here, like so. Save that. Come back in. Boom. We've got the logo already mocked up in less than a second it applied it to all now Invato elements allows you to do this and many other things by giving you resources and the license to use them for your client projects as well whilst you're still subscribed but if you don't believe me try it for free for seven days using the link down below honestly 50 million design assets that you could download for less than 20 dollars a month i mean it's pretty good so those are the two skills that i think every designer needs to do better at more form storming more brainstorming and mind mapping, finding different connections so you don't just come up with the most obvious idea. These two skills alone will make you look like a design god. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.